<laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. First, I'm gonna introduce you guys okay. to the meeple board. That's the board on its side. And then that's the top of the board. So, that's the board itself. The board comes with a charger, a hanger. These shapes, they're like, I guess, seals that you can put at the bottom of the board where the battery goes. It also comes with a T-hanger and some couple screws, I'm guessing for the hanger, but the T-hanger itself for the board. I find the T-hanger a bit cool, that way you don't have to go out of your way and buy one. It also comes with a light. You can strap it onto the back of your, your board just in case you're riding at night. All you gotta do is hold the button. And then it lock, turn, the light turns on. You can press it again. It changes the pattern. Again. Again. And then it goes solid. After that, it goes the same thing. You can just hold it to turn it off. Last but not least, you get the manual. But I mean, nobody ever reads that, so... Hold it down, I mean overall so far I think the board is good I'm I don't have any complaints about it I was riding it yesterday last night here in downtown Dallas as well and I was losing some connection I'll show you so as you can see I'm I'm on I'm on uh, normal mode and now I am doing full throttle and it loses connection it loses connection sometimes look at the great city all I need is a waterproof test I need to find water Other than that, right now, it seems that I reversed it right now, I do it and it just takes off pretty nice. It's on beginner mode, like I said, but it's a pretty good board. I, I, really, I really enjoy riding the board. I mean, it takes off pretty good. I'm gonna show you guys how, how, how does it turn right now. Hopefully, you guys can see it. Yeah. You guys can see it's not I mean it's even though it's on beginner mode it takes off pretty quick that's full throttle right there and I mean I'm going somewhat fast and then the brakes brakes aren't that bad Eleven 
11 miles per hour on beginner mode. So I'm gonna try to see if I can ride full speed. See how this thing gets me. Okay. So I'm about to ride full speed on fast mode. I saw it go. I saw that go to. If I'm not wrong, I saw that go to 24 miles per hour. I'm not that much of a heavy guy. Not as much as, I mean, I'm not, I'm pretty sure I am not that heavy like all the other guys that ride this board. But God damn, that was fast. And I was riding that on a thin sidewalk. And it had some cracks and stuff, that's why I was kind of scared. Well, I got, it was a little bit closer, I didn't, it didn't seem like I was going to break on time and I was about to run into the street, hopefully no car would have, you know, oh my Lanta, I'm riding it backwards now. That's the thing about the booster, I mean, that's the thing about the meeple board. This button right here, as you guys can see, is a button right there. That button right there. It's to change the directions on the board. It's not that good to be right here because we hold the board like this. So I could be cruising, I stop, I can stop, and then I accidentally press it, and if I press it, it goes the other way, and then it just kicks me off the board, and then that's, that's probably dangerous. I almost did that right there at the end of that sidewalk towards the inter intersection. So my board could have either kept going and probably got hit by a car, or I could have fell off and got hit by a car myself. So that's one thing I personally don't like about this thing, that the button is right there. Only if it was something like the fast mode button where like you can flip up and down, and it would be like kind of ducked right there. But having the button right there I'm not a big fan of that because anybody can press that and fall yeah other than that I really I really 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 like this board I mean for the price I paid around um, around three hundred and sixty dollars for the board and shipping the board itself is like two hundred and sixty dollars and then shipping it's a uh, hundred dollars because it does come from China I mean Especially if you're a if you're a beginner rider, I, I totally recommend you to get this board. If you are a beginner rider and this is like gonna be your first ever board to buy, I do recommend you to buy this board. One is cheap, and so far I've seen that it is one of the best boards that you can get for a cheap, cheap, cheap price, and can almost at least 85% do do the job that expensive boards like the boosted board can do. Well, I'm doing it full throttle, you see how fast it is. Oh, I'm gonna need to stop. As you can see, I was kind of wobbling around because the board The board feels like there is a metal piece right there. And it feels like this is not here. It feels like you're just on that metal piece balancing on it while you're riding. That's the thing about this board. This wood, I'm not heavy either, but I mean, it's not that flexible. I've gotten on long boards before and I am about to show you guys what I mean by it not being wobbly. This board, this board is not that well. Oh. oh my.
my god. Well guys, and that is where my review ended right there. So as you guys saw, I jumped I jumped a bit too hard on the board. Um it was my stupid mistake. I was too like Oh my god, I'm an idiot. So I was trying to show you guys that it wasn't as flexible. But I did jump on it really hard and it was I don't think it was because I jumped hard because I only weigh like 115, 120 pounds. Um, I've seen people probably jumped a little bit harder on it but the reason the board broke on me was because I stepped on it wrong whenever I was stepping on the board let me show you guys okay so this is the board whenever I was stepping on it I should have stepped on it from here let me try to hold myself up so I won't break I should have stepped on it like this. I should have jumped on it like this. But instead, I kind of lost balance as I was jumping up. And when I jumped up, I jumped on it, and then I jumped on it again. And as you guys saw, I ended up landing on the board like this, looks. Which didn't help because the board has this thing right here, this, which would probably help it break a little bit faster. So as I jumped on it, instead of jumping on it like this, I jumped on it like this, which led to it cracking because I put most of my weight here and it cracked like that. That's why the crack is that way. It's kind of diagonal that way because I put all my weight here and then as soon as I jumped, nothing was over here but mainly over here and that's why it just cracked diagonally. So that was a stupid mistake that I did. I was a little bit upset about it. I'm an idiot, I jumped on it really hard, and I put all my weight on the other side, whatever, whatever, whatever. But at least I got to show you guys what I meant with the review. So basically, on the beginner mode, I got to go 11 miles per hour, and then on the advanced mode, I got to go like 24. Like I said, I'm not that heavy, so the board is not going to struggle picking up its speed, especially with a guy like me. I mean, I'm only like 5'3", 120 pounds, so... I got, I did go up to like 24 miles per hour on the advanced mode. I showed you guys going through water. I went through it like a couple times just to like make sure the first time it's not lucky or whatever. So I did like about four or three times. Um, I did ride around all downtown Dallas. So I, last night I ended up leaving with a good, like I had like one bar left. I'm pretty sure I, I was riding for at least, um, I want to say eight to nine miles. I didn't do the full range, but I mean, you guys can see that in any other video. I basically wanted to show you guys from a beginner perspective, a guy that's never had a board before. This was my first board. I, I ordered it on August 26th of 2017 and I didn't get it till September 20th, which was almost a full month. But I mean, it was worth the wait, especially if you're a beginner rider and it's your first ever board. So I was really excited for it. I got it. I was able to get used to it. I started writing it and I felt like I, it was time to make a review video for it so I ended up making it and then it comes to now that it's broken. So now basically what I did is I bought another board, another long board and that's just a regular board and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off, this off, that and then that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it on this and hopefully I get my electric skateboard back.